In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Today we celebrate the martyrs of Papua New Guinea. Uh, there were martyrs in 1901, uh, um, James Chalmers and Oliver Tompkins, but it was during the Second World War and the Japanese occupation that over 333 Christians of all denominations died for their faith. Priests Henry Holland, John Duffield and Vivian Redlich, who remained with their people after the invasion of 1942, also evangelists Leslie Gariardi, Lucien Tapiedi and John Barge, May Heyman, a nurse, and teachers Margaret, Margaret Brenchley, Lilla Lashman and Mavis Parkinson. Also remembered is the priest Bernard Moore in New Britain. We pray for all of, uh, we give thanks to God for uh, their uh, martyrdom, for their witness to the faith. We pray uh, for the church in Papua New Guinea and we ask that for ourselves, inspired by the great courage of all uh, of these men and women, we may be witnesses in our own time, in our own place, uh, to the love of God made visible in Christ Jesus our Lord. The saints were faithful unto death and now dwell in the heavenly kingdom forever. So let us celebrate their joy. Let us bring, as we celebrate their joy, let us bring to the Lord our sins and weaknesses and ask for his mercy. We are often slow to follow the example of Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We often fail to be known as Christ's disciples. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. We often fail to walk the way of the cross. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, whose servants, Lucian Tapiedi and the martyrs of Papua New Guinea, gave their lives in faithful witness to the love of Christ. Help us to endure to the end, strengthened by the grace of him who gave his life for us, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I could not speak to you as spiritual people, but rather as people of the flesh, as infants in Christ. I fed you with milk, not solid food, for you were not ready for solid food. Even now you are still not ready, for you are still of the flesh. For as long as there is jealousy and quarrelling among you, are you not of the flesh and behaving according to human inclinations? For when one says, I belong to Paul, and another, I belong to Apollos, are you not merely human? What then is Apollos? What is Paul? Servants through whom you came to believe, as the Lord assigned to each. I planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the growth. So neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything, but only God who gives the growth. The one who plants and the one who waters have a common purpose, and each will receive wages according to the labour of each. For we are God's servants, working together. You are God's field, God's building. Alleluia, alleluia. Take up their cross and follow me. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and also with you. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. After leaving the synagogue, Jesus entered Simon's house 
Now Simon's mother-in-law was suffering from a high fever and they asked him about her. Then he stood over her and rebuked the fever and it left her. Immediately she got up and began to serve them. As the sun was setting, all those who had any who were sick with various kinds of diseases brought them to him and he laid his hands on each of them and cured them. Demons also came out of many, shouting, You are the Son of God. But he rebuked them and would not allow them to speak because they knew that he was the Messiah. At daybreak he departed and went into a deserted place, and the crowds were looking for him, and when they reached him they wanted to prevent him from leaving them. But he said to them, I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God to the other cities also, for I was sent for this purpose. So he continued proclaiming the message in the synagogues of Judea. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Once we were far off, but now in union with Christ Jesus, we have been brought near through the shedding of Christ's blood. For he is our peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you, and also with you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. God of all faithfulness, your servants, the martyrs of Papua New Guinea, praised you in their deaths, receive all we bring before you this day, and give us the strength of will to proclaim your righteousness and love. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is indeed right and good, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For following the example of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, your holy martyrs of Papua New Guinea shed their blood for the glory of your name. Their deaths reveal your power made perfect in our human frailty. You choose the weak and make them strong, in bearing witness to you through Jesus Christ our Lord. With joyful hearts we echo on earth the song of the angels in heaven as they praise your glory without end. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it 
in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we in the company of Mary, Virgin Mother of God, George, Genevieve, the martyrs of Papua New Guinea and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. In the power of the Spirit, let us pray as our Saviour taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. Let us pray, O God our Redeemer, whose church was strengthened by the blood of your martyrs of Papua New Guinea, so bind us in life and death to Christ's sacrifice, that our lives, broken and offered with his, may carry his death and proclaim his resurrection in the world, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. God give you grace to follow his saints in faith and love and steadfastness, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen. The
Mass has ended, go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.